So one of the hallmarks of addiction is sort of this behavior that we see, uh, which is the violation of our core values. So someone with addiction often is doing things that goes against what they believe to be the right thing. Um, and essentially what that does is it creates a, a component of guilt and shame, which then further traumatizes the person. Because when we engage in something that violates our core values and we feel guilt about it and we feel shameful, um, we feel like we're, we're a bad person and that's traumatizing. And so that trauma then puts the person with addiction in a position of feeling like I have to deal with this trauma. And if they're already actively in addiction, then their only coping skill is to use substances. So they'll continue to use the substance to medicate the trauma. Um, and so it becomes a vicious cycle. I would venture to say that people who don't feel guilty don't ever really become addicted or don't have addiction. Um, because I feel like the guilt and shame that self-traumatizing is almost a necessary component for the continued use because they need to self-medicate away that trauma. So the belief that someone with addiction doesn't care about their impact on other people or society is absolutely not true. In fact, it's the opposite. I think that they actually feel worse about it than most other people would. Um, but unfortunately, their only way to deal with that guilt is to continue to engage in the behavior and continue that vicious cycle.